Well, hey, good morning to all you first stringers out there. <clears throat> hey, listen, nobody wants to sit on the bench. Who wants to just be a bench warmer when you could be a first stringer? We're here swinging the sword of the Lord every single day, bringing you the good news of the gospel. Reading through the Bible. We have a program that reads through the Bible every single year. I encourage you to become a first stringer. Go to our website. Here, check this out. Go to our website which is crossingpass.org right there on the bottom of your screen right there. And um, join up $25 a month. That's not even a dollar a day. Make the commitment. Be a part of the team with us. We do this every day. Today we're at October 2nd. This is a Wednesday. We're talking specifically about how to overcome temptations in your life. How do you possibly overcome all temptations? How do you break the back of all addictions? I mean, pornography, sexual addiction, drug addiction, phone addiction, social media addiction. Just think of the addictions that are on the earth today. Why are they there? Listen, one man gave us an example on how to overcome that. His name's Jesus. He gave us an example. I'm going to share that with you today. It comes out of Matthew chapter 4. Listen up, put your helmet on and buckle up your chin strap. Let's get in the game. Get off the bench, become a first stringer. Listen, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Sometimes the spirit takes you to, into a wilderness experience. I mean, I know a lot of you guys don't like that because, you, you know, you get your milk and cookies and your sweet little preaching and teaching all the time. But sometimes it's the spirit of God that leads you into a wilderness experience. I mean, something that's going to test you. I mean, an old coach of mine used to say, hey, Kozer, it's just bu you're building character, boy. It's just building your character. You're building character. After a while, I said, I'm, a, I'm enough of a character. I don't need no more character builders. So Jesus was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, there's one way to overcome any addiction. Fasting. Jesus said, this kind does not come out except through prayer and fasting. So that's point number one. Watch this. He... He um, fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Then he became hungry. And when the tempter, the devil, came to him, he said, if you be the son of God, command these stones to be made bread. This was the lust of the flesh. He will test and tempt your flesh first. And I'm telling you, by prayer and fasting, you can overcome that. Prayer and fasting, you could show your flesh who is the boss. Your number one battle is yourself. That's my number one battle in life is myself. I got to overcome self first. So he tempted him with the old flesh bag. Then he answered and said unto him, Jesus said, it is written. So you got to go to the Bible. You're, the Bible is an offensive weapon in Ephesians 6. It says it is the sword of the Lord. The Bible is an offensive weapon that you must learn how to use. That's why I chose that to be our staple in Crossing Pass, that we read through the Bible every single year. I've been doing this for 12 years, 12 years reading through the Bible. Jesus was 100% God. In John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was also 100% human. Wherefore, in all things, it, be, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. So after 40 days of prayer and fasting, his human body would have been nearly to its breaking point. Only the grace of God would have still had him conscious and lucid. It was at this point the devil stepped in. See, he tries to get you at your weakest point. I mean, right at the end of the 40 days, he didn't come at the beginning. He didn't come at the middle. He waited till the end. I mean, when Jesus was exhausted, this is why I believe in preventive maintenance. You got to work out. You got to prepare yourself for the battle. 
Because listen, my friend, every single one of us is in a battle. Life is a battle. This, this election in 2024 right now, this is a battle. All hell's breaking loose on the earth. So he was appealing to Jesus' human nature. The devil was attempting to gain power over Jesus. Knowing the incredible strain on Jesus' body, Satan suggested an easy, self-serving way for Jesus to relieve his hunger. Command these stones to be made bread. But Jesus, what? Knowing the word of God. Listen, Jesus knew the word of God. That's what you need to do. You need to do the reading through the Bible program. Be held accountable. Get on here with us. Get off the bench. Get off the bench. This is one time in your life you can get off the bench and become a leader. Get involved and do some things that nobody else is doing on the earth. Oh, this is good stuff, guys. So he said, Jesus, knowing the word of God, must be on the basis for all our decisions, merely replied, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4. 4. This is how we live. This is how we move. Excuse me. Got some of my glasses. And uh, Matthew 4.4 4 says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You got to know your Bible. You have to know your Bible. If you don't know your Bible, you have no direction in life. That's first base, guys. Appealing to the human nature on the peak of the temple also, Satan took Jesus there and challenged him to leap down in the midst of the people and present himself as a superhuman Messiah. A superhuman Messiah. This would be the pride of life. Listen, these are the temptations we got to overcome. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's it. That's what he had to do. Here's the other one. For his final temptation, the final temptation, we talked about the um, lust of the flesh. Then we talked about the pride of life. And now we're going to look at the eyes. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. For his final temptation, the devil dropped all pretenses, and he said, he took him up to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Showed him. Look and see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Your eyes are a portal into your soul. And your mind, your mind, your eyes are a portal, a portal into your soul. And your soul is your mind, your emotions, and your will. That's what controls you. So Satan knew that was his go for it. He was going for it all. He said he took Jesus and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. What a temptation that he had to overcome after fasting for 40 days. Wow. He said, ironically, in this case, Satan was offering to give Jesus what already belonged to him in the first place. Once again, Jesus was not deceived by the trickery employed by the enemy, for he knew he had but one purpose here on earth. That's found in Luke 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save, which is lost. Jesus is seeking you today. Jesus wants to build a relationship with you today. He, there's only one way. There's only one mediator, one man, not the pope, not the priest, not your pastor, not your friend, not your mom or dad. There's only one mediator between you and God. That's the man Christ Jesus. You must build that vertical relationship with God to then establish a horizontal relationship with people on the earth. That's how you do it. You build it through reading the Bible. I'm telling you, this is good stuff this morning. And he knew that it was on that only way for that purpose to be fulfilled would be through his work on the cross. The best of what Satan could offer would only be a dim reflection of the glory that followed God's will would provide, that following God's will would provide. Here's our lesson for today. Listen up. As we face our own periods of temptation, we should draw strength from the example set for us by Christ. When we use God's word to illuminate the path ahead, Satan's pitiful baited traps will be laid open before us and we will be able to stay, say with confidence, 
Just as Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and you shall serve him only, Matthew 4.10. Man, that's some good word there, guys. Listen, thought for today, just as Jesus conquered the devil's temptation of his own heart, so too can he conquer the temptations in the hearts of every single man. It is up to you. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Do that today. Tell him you're sorry of your sins and welcome him into your heart. In order, or get online, man. Go get or read through the Bible program. Go right there. Go to crossingpass.org. Sign up. $25 a month? That's less than a dollar a day. I mean, guys, you can't get it no better than that. You'll get a booklet every single month, a different booklet a Bible commentary that will lead you through the Bible. Plus, you'll have access to all my teachings. I mean, what a blessing for you. Taking me 47 years to build this and do this stuff. You get to walk in and benefit. Listen, I love every single one of you guys. Please share these links. That's the only way the truth is going to get out there. Keep seeking the truth, guys, because it's only the truth that you know that will set you free. Love and God bless every single one of you. I'll see you next time. Same place, same time. In Jesus' name.